he is in the in the technical team for um, sanitary and phytosanitary measures in Palestine. Hey. Thank you very much for thank the you. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for inviting me for this uh, amazing place. Actually, it's the first time for me to be in Paris, so it will be remember. It will be I will remember this <laughs> for sure. Um, <coughs> um, oh, let's, uh, no, no, next slide. So, uh, according to the Ministry of Health and according to the uh, some uh, their annual report, there is no human cases of rabies since 20 years. Um, I have a, here a quotation from the uh, Ministry of Health uh, repo uh, report. There's no cases of rabies or cholera. It's just part of the uh, report. Uh, so there's no human cases um, registered there. Also, I have a quotation from an NGO that's working for in stray dogs in Palestine. They put 20 years that we don't have rabies in human cases. Um, in the next slide, I will start uh, to tell you, uh, to inform you about information and data about rabies uh, in one district in Palestine, in the West Bank, Palestine. Uh, this, um, uh, speaking about animal bites, speaking about uh, uh, human cases, uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, speaking about animal cases in that uh, district only because um, we don't have any um, information about what is the spread of, uh, uh, of rabies in animals in the area. So in that district, I <coughs> we have uh, the number of bitten human <coughs> cases is about 61 in 2015. In 2016, we have, um, six, uh, I'm sorry, 2015, 62. 2016, uh, 61, and in 2015, we have 75. So there's almost uh, a number, uh, there's almost a human, uh, a human exposure to animal bites. Uh, speaking about human rabies pre exposure prophylaxis, uh, the, the vaccine used is Rabipur, uh, and the post exposure prophylaxis, uh, there's um, uh, it's, uh, I, I'm sorry, a pre-exposure prophylaxis is only administrated if in the most vulnerable groups, speaking about veterinarians, people who work for, uh, with the animals, uh, animals um, in vicinity with animals, <laughs> practitioners. It's given in, th in uh, three uh, days schedule, uh, schedule. The first day is uh, day, uh, day zero, and the second day at seven. And the third injection, it will be in day 21 or uh, 28, as you can see. Uh, this is the vial report used for immunocompromised people. They instead they use for uh, injections, 21 also 28. This is according to the preventive medicine unit of the Ministry of Health. Uh, by the way, I'm sharing with you my vaccination schedule. I guess <laughs> so because I'm a veterinarian. I had been vaccinated in 2012 and for January, and then on uh, 12 of. Um, uh, of January uh, 2012, another one. This is uh, because um, uh, actually it's not like there's a law for every veterinarian to go and vaccinate them. If you, if you are institute that you are going to tell you to vaccinate, you will go. Or if you are like know what's the danger of vaccination, you will take the vaccination. It's free of charge. So about the post exposure prophylaxis also. Uh, from the meeting with the Preventive Medicine Unit and uh, Ministry of Health, uh, they are going for uh, as uh, they are going for a risk assessment uh, in case they are uh, there is a bitten uh, man or human. I'm sorry, <laughs> okay, man or human, the same thing. <laughs> uh, English. Um, in case of uh, a received bitten uh, case, um, they do for a risk assessment. Uh, so we'll decide if the animal, uh, the human, get uh, vaccinated or not. Um, so we'll see in the next slide, uh, after exposure, I'm sorry, the third slide, we will see that there's no correlation exactly between the human vaccinated and the number of vials used for the vaccination uh, of a human because they, not most of the cases get vaccinated. Um, the post exposure vaccination is also the same vaccine used, and, but uh, with immunoglobulin. So, so it's the, the regime is the first thing they get um, 
uh, VINRAB, it's immunoglobulin, uh, with the vaccination. The second day, uh, the second injection would be day three. The third injection at, uh, at day seven, and the fourth injection 14, and fifth six, uh, injection time, it will be at day 28. This is what I wanted to tell you about, about the vials used and the vaccination number of uh, uh, human get, uh, the number of, um, uh, I mean, uh, the number of vials used for vaccination uh, and for immunoglobulins. So there's no real match between the number of animal bites and uh, the number of vials used because uh, there is a risk assessment process in the middle. Uh, rabies vaccination in animals. This is uh, the best part I am more expert in, as <laughs> a veterinarian. Um, uh, animal receive vaccination only in the veterinary services. Uh, they are almost free of charge, but uh, we don't have campaign for vaccination of animal by injection. We have campaign by uh, using baits, like throwing baits in mountains, in cooperation with the regional veterinary services, such as uh, sometimes, such as Israel sometimes, they, um, their cooperation about throwing bad baits of uh, vaccine. Uh, speaking about the injection, the intramuscular injection of, uh, uh, of the vaccine, um, we use um, the vaccine used for dogs, cat, horses, sheep, and ferrets. Um, uh, the vaccine is used is rabicine. As you can see, the image for the vaccine, it's rab uh, and uh, in the next, uh, the right of the slide, we see the, um, the baits used. Um, it's thrown in hundreds of thousands. Um, the use of baits uh, in the last uh, year start to drop down, but uh, in the last two years, they figure out they need to re-vaccinate uh, re because the animal cases flare up, as we, you, you will see in the next slide. So yeah, this slide. Um, there's no official recorded cases. Also, in speaking about Palestine, there's no official recorded uh, cases in animals. But I think more um, work is needed in this because of the data from the region. Uh, the disease in animal is maybe is underreported because most of the time people don't uh, uh, recognize angry dog from rabid dog. And this is actually a, a, an issue of awareness. Uh, the National Central Veterinary Laboratory also is unable to test any uh, rabies in, in, uh, in dogs and animals. So we usually send samples to another laboratories. Um, uh, also, another thing we need to look at from the, uh, uh, from the data from the Israeli <coughs> Ministry of uh, Agriculture about rabies. Um, in 2017, there was 74 cases in rabies in adjacent in borders, it's very adjacent to the uh, Palestinian borders. And in 2018, from the, since, since 2024, three uh, animal cases, um, they, are, uh, they are tested by uh, ways of immunofluorescence uh, methods. And uh, this will make uh, this, uh, you know, um, uh, the, these results making us thinking more about what we are going and where are where we are going for rabies, because it's already tested in the region. Another thing, uh, the last human cases in Lebanon in 2018, uh, which means that the virus is circulating in the region, and we need to um, do more monitoring and surveillance about this disease in animals. Uh, the lack of uh, this is what I'm calling the lack of rabies monitoring and control in pets, uh, animals, and lack of uh, animal welfare uh, strategies, because uh, as you mentioned yesterday, uh, rabies for the CVOs is now is not a priority. It's uh, sometimes brought to the table. They keep differing it because there's another other animal um, diseases strategies going to uh, be implemented. It's all about capacity and situation on the veterinary services. So here, uh, a jackal, uh, I cannot see it, it's a video, I can try. It's in November 2017, <coughs> um, I cannot see it. Oh, a bar. it's just a bump, okay. So it's a jackal, try, I have, uh, uh, I think we can, I think it's playable.
No, it's just changing. Just change, yeah. Um, I think we can skip it. I will share it. Okay. Later. Yeah. Can do it. I can do my best. With that song? Yeah. So that's just like play the game. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a jackal in November 2017 shows abnormal behavior. This jackal has been shot and uh, sample sent to the lab, and uh, it was positive for rabies. As you can see, uh, usually jackals when see human they just ran away. This jackal is strange. Let's keep following the car and uh, it was shot and the sample sent it was positive for rabies in the north it's in uh, november 2017 so next slide it's not skip it's skipping okay yeah one minute i'll be fine so um actually uh, when we speak about rabies and how to control rabies we need to speak about stray dogs, uh, actual stray dogs as a problem in Palestine. Uh, stray dogs are roaming everywhere in Palestine in bags. Um, they, uh, they, uh, they are more concentrated where the trash, human trash are located, and they are increasing exponential numbers. Um, there's no current program dealing with stray dogs. Only there's one NGO um, there's no actively um, like uh, reporting our co cooperation with this NGO for now. Um, the political situation also hinder most of the veterinary activities <laughs> and the stray dogs. Uh, <laughs> most of the dogs uh, are undernourished, and we we see a lot of um, what do you call uh, we see a lot of problems dealing with uh, and uh, a lot of um, what do you call it um, like animal. Um, no respecting of animal welfare law. So they need to kill and poison animal. So uh, animals are dealt in bad way because they're out number. Uh, this is photos for some, uh, some, some photos for stray dogs. Um, I talk in my region. They are in back, so I will finish. Uh, and this is the action. We need to work on the control of stray dogs, dog vaccination, public <laughs> awareness, and veterinary services. All these uh, determinants should be uh, uh, included in working for rabies. Thank you. Thank you.